They say Georgia's a country on the rise. The people here brim with a distinctive national pride. They talk about their country's resurgence, its modernity. But what I want to know is, how does that affect Georgians' working lives? It's not only the public sector that's feeling the effects of transformation. Georgia's economic output has grown by between 7 and 8% in the last few years. That means more money for some, but they're not spending it in the way you might first think. Fifty-six-year-old Gierg Varamia opened Georgia's first cosmetic surgery business in 2000. He now has seven clinics. When I began with this business, so many people told me that uh, it is crazy uh, who need this business in Georgia, what I was doing, but I was right uh, because so many clinics appear every year. We have so many competitors now, and that means that it is uh, a business that people need. Today, he's treating Nanuka Georgioliani, one of Georgia's best-known TV personalities. In a country where average household incomes have risen 50% in the last four years, Gia is taking advantage of more disposable income among Tbilisi residents. We, we do different surgeries. It is uh, breast surgery, nose surgery, facelift, uh, blepharoplasty, uh, body contouring, and all cosmetics, uh, all range of cosmetic surgery. He sees more than 3,000 new patients here every year, earning $15,000 a month. It's a family business, and Gear's wife Marika helps to run it. Marika works with me. Uh, she's a doctor too. We began together. It was or 15, uh, about 15 years ago, yeah. Have you ever had to perform plastic surgery on any family member? I uh, offered to my wife, <laughs> I, I think in a in, in couple of years <laughs> we well, should do something. <laughs> we should do something. <laughs> a course of Botox in Gears Clinic will set you back $350, the average monthly salary something you'd think would be out of reach to most Georgians, but not to Nanuka. So Nanuka, you're a famous TV presenter, but is this form of cosmetic surgery now just for people like you, just for famous Georgians, or are ordinary people having it done as well? I have a lot of friends. Um, one of uh, them is doctor, one of them is teacher, right. but they last. Yes, and but they are doing it very often. Um, Georgian people love um, to have a good time, to have a good food, yeah. to have a good house. It's, it's, and of course, I think of course, good appearance too. Yes. yes. Yeah. So is it a sign then that Georgia's economy is growing? It is becoming more buoyant? Yes, yes I think course. it's a sign of growing economy. One final question, which is, if I could have anything done to improve my face, what would it be? Yeah, I think. <laughs> you need to uh, take from uh, this side wrinkles you have. Here, just this side? <laughs> yes, no, from this also, because you have a lot of wrinkles. Really? <laughs> yes, and here also. Thank you. The pointing goes welcome. out. <laughs> How much would that cost? That's my next question. <laughs> For you, it's with free. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Gears obviously made the best of Georgia's resurgent economy. Wealthier Georgians are coming here in their droves to have cosmetic surgery and other treatment. But how far does that money trickle down 